applause for the final adoption of the United Nations Program of Action on the Battle Against Small Arms and Light Weapons as 193 member states converge for the Second Review Conference in New York. The outcome, which has been described as a landmark achievement, was attained by lengthy deliberation and negotiation within the spirit of accommodation and flexibility. In the words of member nations, it is a breakthrough for the United Nations, Africa, Nigeria, and women in leadership. The POA process has really struggled, as I mentioned before. I think what has been crucial has been, has been leadership. I think the leadership of uh, Ambassador Ogwu uh, was outstanding. I think her, her presence, her wisdom, her patience, and her personal courage have, have really made an enormous impact on, uh, on the outcome today. It is a very useful outcome because in 2006, when we had a first review meeting, it was a complete disaster, it was a failure. We didn't reach any conclusion. And then this year, 2012, we have been able to at least come out with a document. And as you heard in the room, all credit goes to the woman president who happened to be the permanent representative of the People's Republic of Nigeria in New York. Um, it's through uh, diplomatic skills and effort that we've been able to uh, achieve this feat. It is a feat because looking at the disarmament discussions that have been going on in recent, in recent times, in July, uh, all uh, 193 states came here to come and negotiate an instrument which we call the Arms Trade Treaty that will regulate the trade in export in conventional arms. That completely also failed. There was no outcome document. So for us to have this, it's very, very, very refreshing and very welcoming. I was talking to some colleagues who said we have exercised the, the, the evil and then the ghost out of disarmament. The document has the major tenets of the United Nations Program of Action, which all delegates accepted and pledged support for its implementation and the international tracing instrument. Although a few member states would have preferred stronger language on the issue of ammunition, women and children. The president of the conference, Nigeria's Professor Joy Ogu, says it is a precarious balancing that leaders must take note of in the process of negotiation. Within the international community, states have their narrow national interests. And in negotiating any issue, you must take their national interests into consideration because they serve their national interest first and foremost before the wider interest. But you have to link the wider interest with their national interest. And that is the African wisdom cherished by many delegates. She has actually, beyond that, utilized innate wisdom. The wisdom that very few have, the ability to set your ego aside and listen to the voices speaking around you. Indeed, Benazir Bhutto said that peace and peace negotiations would have been better the world over had women taken the lead. Her Excellency the Ambassador Ogu is indeed a living example of Benazir Bhutto's vision for international peace and security. We are proud of her and we are proud of this outcome. It helps us look forward towards putting women ahead in terms of negotiating peace and security for the international community. I want to congratulate uh, Nigeria uh, and in particular Ambassador Ogwu for the great uh, leadership uh, she has shown in bringing this important conference to a success. Uh, what we have uh, achieved today, uh, universal consensus for the first time since 10 years on reaffirming the commitment to fight against illicit small arms and light weapons worldwide and particular also in the African continent. That is an achievement which will help uh, in particular vulnerable people, societies and communities throughout the world and it will make a great contribution to more security prosperous development and human dignity in the world. And that's thanks to the very able leadership of Nigeria. We are pleased as Germany that we can, uh, per, uh, that we can partake in this success by 
uh, announcing today that we will pay uh, a substantial contribution in the fund this conference uh, is going to establish. With the renewed commitment, Africa and developing economies suffering the menis are expected to benefit more from the outcome of the conference. From the United Nations headquarters in New York, I'm Joy Siabu, NT News.